Well, Aaron, a couple of terrific performances and results. Uh, confidence must be very good in, in the camp. Yes, a great couple of results, like you say, scoring goals and the team's playing well and seem to have a good spirit amongst them, so a uh, long way that continue. Yeah, good to see the goals being shared around as well. Yeah, I was looking at this morning, actually, and the goals have been really shared all around the team all season, so it's good when the team can all chip in with goals from the front, the back and the midfield as well, so yeah, it's going really well in that respect. Let's talk about the strikers. Christian Sadie is in good, good goal-scoring form and he's got a good partnership with uh, Rob Street, who always works so hard for the team. What about their contribution? Yeah, like you say, uh, striking up a really good partnership now. Two young lads, both on loan, but really treating the club like it's their own. And I think you summed it up there, what you say, like the work that they do for the team. Um, I'm sure, although Christian's scoring the goals, everyone in the team appreciates the work rate that Rob Street does. And he does, he puts everything on the line every game and he makes stuff happen. There's, there's been a few goals where he hasn't been credited with the assist. And I think he's been speaking to the media boys about it, but where he has been, he, he's probably got about six assists when you think about the, the the body that he puts on the line to edge people out of it, for other people to go and get the glory. And that's the type of lad he is, to be fair. And he, he works hard every day in training and he's a great lad around the place. As a former centre forward yourself, I'm sure you appreciate the, the quality of Christian's finishing, the composure he showed for, for the goal against Cambridge on Saturday, for yeah. example. No, it was a great goal and he's, he's got that in the locker, to be fair, Christian. And he's, a, he's another lad who works really hard for the team. I'm not saying it's just Streety up there. They work really hard for the team, defending behind the ball as well. And I think the lads behind them appreciate that. And when they're chipping in with goals as well, you couldn't ask for better performances from the two of them. But yeah, great composure by Christian and another lad who's settled really well, great lad around the place and settled in really well at Shrewsbury Town. It's a great team effort, led by the captain, uh, Luke Leahy, who's also chipping in with, with goals and assists. I think there was two, goal, well, two goals and two assists yeah. for him on, on, on Saturday for the Cambridge game. What about how he's uh, leading the team? Yeah, that's what, that's what he's doing, Luke. He's a good, a good leader, another great lad around the place, um, keeps the lads going and yeah, can definitely score a goal from any position. Luke, he's, he does it all the time in training. And uh, yeah, it's great to see when obviously your captain scoring goals. You always fancy him in a penalty spot as well. And uh, yeah, now everyone's chipping in, like you say. But um, no, it's always nice when the goals are flying in. And how impressed have you been with the way that Killian Phillips has, has settled into the club and into the team in, in recent weeks? Yeah, really well. Um, I know, obviously, from being at Palace, I know quite a few people down there. And Paddy McCarthy, who's the under 23s manager, is a good friend of mine. And. Uh, we spoke about getting Killian earlier in the season, but he was in and around the first team, playing against Liverpool pre-season and stuff and doing really well. So we've kind of monitored him and kept our eye on him and we knew he'd be a good addition when he came into the squad. And I think he's hit the ground running. I think it helped that he came in for two or three games where he wasn't allowed to play, just to be around the place and kind of train with the lads and see a couple of defeats over Christmas and feel the pain that the lads were feeling. And then he's, he's managed to come in the team and straight away from the Sunderland game, put in some really good performances when you think he's only a young lad and to make his debut a couple of weeks ago. And he looks like he's, he's really on top of his game. And I think there's more to come. I think he'll probably say that as well, that he can give even more. I know you look forward to, to every game, but when you're on a run like you are at the moment, two great wins and, and nine goals scored, is it a case of looking forward to it even more, the, the game tomorrow night at MK Dons? Yeah, you certainly don't. You, you never dread any games coming. You always... If, you, if you're on the back of defeat, you look, you look to put things right. And if you're on the run, you look to keep the run going. And that's what we'll be doing tomorrow night, uh, going up against MK Dons, one of my old clubs as well. So I always look forward to going back there. But yeah, no, the lads, the lads are in good form. And obviously MK have got a new manager and they're starting to churn out some results and they've been doing OK. So it's another really tough game. It always is away from home there. And we have to go into it confident from the back of our results and try and get the right result for us. Yeah, you were there quite a while, weren't you, at MK Dons? What are your, your, your reflections, your memories of your time there? Yeah, I think I had some great times. Uh, the owner, Pete Winkleman, is a great guy and all his family, great people. And I, I still know a lot of friends who are there still. Uh, Dean Lewinson's still there playing. He's done so well for the club. And now I always keep in touch. It's where my daughter was born and I brought her up to start with. So I know it's always a fun place that I go back to. I was there six, five and a half seasons, something like that. So, yeah. I think it's where I developed most of my football, to be honest, before moving on, and I'll always look back there with fond memories. You scored a few goals there, didn't you? 
Yeah, I got a few over the years at MK and uh, now it's I, I was part of the transition and moving to the new stadium from the old hockey stadium so I was part of all that transition, got there just after they became MK Dons and I've seen it all happen and it's good to see them go on and develop the stadium surrounding areas and it's only going to get better. Yeah, they have got a new manager. What about their season generally? Last season they almost made it up to the championship, uh, finished third and just missed out an automatic promotion, lost in the playoffs this season hasn't gone, I'm sure, as well as they would have liked so far. Has that been a surprise for you? Well, they lost a lot of players. They had a lot of, they, I think they lost six six or seven important players. So that's always going to have an effect on any team. And when you try and replace them and there's always not those players available and it's hard. So they've gone through that um, kind of process and with a, with a new manager now, they'll go through a different kind of process. But that, that's what happens in football when you're in, in a kind of lower division and you've got good players the big boys from above you will come and try and steal them off you and it's happened to MK they've made some money off it but then they have to go again and transition and try and sign more players and see, see what goes from there and they'll be boosted of course after a good win at uh, Forest Green on Saturday yeah that, like I said they've, they've had a couple of good results under the new manager and he'll be starting to get his style of play and stuff into the team now now he's had a little bit of time so we're by no means going there thinking it's going to be an easy game. Our lads will have to carry on what they've been doing and fight for everything and see what happens. Everybody come through OK from, from, from Saturday? Yeah, no problems. Everybody's everybody's fine and I think you find that after a win. Everyone's always all right. And you're back in, in the top half of, of the League One table, which must, must make pleasant reading when you, you study uh, the table. Is the aim quite straightforward just to keep moving in, in the right direction there? Definitely moving in the right direction is a good way to put it. I think it's nice for the boys to see themselves up there and hopefully that spurs them on to want to stay there. As staff we believe they can be there so they just need to probably see it themselves and they've seen everybody in the division now, played everybody once and now it's time to have a good second half of the season. All the best Mario and I, thanks for your time Aaron. Yep. Cheers.